My understanding is that the sheriff of any county can, if he wishes, uh, stop the federal government from operating in that county. Yeah. Have you ever exercised this power? No. no. Why not? This Ridley O is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Hi, question for you. Yeah. Uh, which department are you with? Or I'm with Stratford County Sheriff's Office. I don't know if those are called departments, but um, of the people that you have arrested or imprisoned, how many are just for victimless crimes? Who are you? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Yeah, you're catching me off guard here. Let me put my stuff down. Hold on. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming out. Not everybody does. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, how do you define that? What do you mean by that? Yeah, a, a crime that uh, does not involve any act of aggression or threat against others. Yeah, well, the sheriff's office, so all of our stuff now really is done, for the majority, is done either through a drug task force or it's done through uh, warrants that are issued by a court throughout the state. So you know, the chances of me getting into anything that doesn't fall into those categories is relatively slim. But if you want accurate stats on anything out of my office, I can get it for you. Just send me an email. I'll give you one of my business cards. Thanks. My understanding is that the sheriff of any county can, if he wishes, yeah. uh, stop the federal government from operating in that county. Yeah. Have you ever exercised this power? No. Well, Why not? Uh, we cooperate with law enforcement, federal, state, local, and uh, other county offices. Anything As a that's operating within the limits of the of the law, we're going we're gonna to work with that. Is the division of powers broken down if you're that close with the feds? Sure. Yeah. Wait, the division of powers, you're agreeing that the division of powers is broken down? Yeah, I, I believe every agency has its own operational level that it operates on. But in this country, cooperation between those levels is extremely important in public safety, so we, we take that very serious. Under what circumstances, what would the feds have to do for you to intervene? Violate the law. There's 200,000 pages yeah, of laws. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're violating one of them. Well, you may be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Are you on the council? I am. Question for you. Uh, American police kill about 1,000 people a year. German police only kill about four. Well, you're on the council. What are you doing to help personally? What are you doing to help bring those numbers down? I've been on a council since uh, October 2020. I personally think New Hampshire, I've traveled all over the country, I personally think New Hampshire almost as a role model for a lot of the country. I mean, one police academy so that anybody with law enforcement, arrest power, state carnivals in this state comes through this one academy. You get the same foundation, the same establishment. Um, my personal history and, and, and look at the last 10, 15 years of law enforcement in this state, we don't have the types of errors with law enforcement that others do around the country. In this, with this state and with this council, uh, and the whole purpose of this council is number they establish and accredited police officers, certified police officers. They also remove that certification from the police officer. If the police officer does wrong, breaks the rules, uh, is held accountable, it's met here, right here. It starts here and it establishes the foundation for the rest of the state for what happens here. And it happens every single month. There are hearings. It's well run and well recognized and I not just for the, the state of Hampshire. Okay. That's the man you want to ask. And what's your name? Mark Okay, thanks much. I don't like Freedom Radio Talk. Listening to LRN FM makes me balk. Far from it, I should probably walk. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.